Always a good tactic to try to lead at 200, so I wonder who's going to be brave and run fast. Certainly Sprung has started very well indeed, but not much to choose in the stagger at the moment. I think it may be Sprung up. And uh, Heinova has also started strongly with Gay, who leaves it a little bit. Sprung will now try to come down from the outside to take the lead. She is indeed. It's Sprung looking tall, looking strong, looking powerful from Gay. Uh, Nielsen up in fourth place, didn't take a lead early on, but he's coming up on the third place now. But it's still Sprunger looking strong from Gay and Heinova and Nielsen. The medals are going to be between those four. Sprunger looking strong, but Gay finishes so strongly. I think uh, Sprunger sprung her bolt and she may even lose out on the, uh, lesser medals. She's struggling. Gay is it is who's going to win it. And there's a strong finish in third there. Well, that was quite a, quite a race. Heinova took the... Uh, silver medal but then right out of the blue one of the poles came through i think that was sweetie who came yeah. through there he's got a good indoor record hasn't she well floria gay winning it in 21 51 90 which is a, a personal best then hanover 50 42 then sveti 52 52 and then nielsen 52 79 floria gay the winner of the 400 meters in 51 90 the silver to susanna hanova and the bronze to justina sveti now the runners and doors don't like the inside lane and that's uh, what Bolingo and Bongo's got but I'm sure she'll work hard to try to overcome that Nadia Nielsen of Britain certainly going very well and has passed the Cudo of Italy already watch the Belgian on the inside as well as they come to the halfway point Sonan the French athlete and Kilbasinska from those favourable outside lanes it is Kilbasinska takes the lead She's more used to running hundreds and two hundreds, so let's see whether she can hold on from Lucado in second place. Just one team, Switzerland, rather out of it at the back. But it's uh, Poland who lead, the defending champions. And France in second, Britain in third. Well, I think... Uh, Kalingo and Bongo was hampered certainly by having that inside lane. She didn't run as quickly as expected, but Belgium now making some ground with Thais. Out front for Poland, it's Baumgart Bitten. Disappointing the individual event, she'll want to make up for that. So she's got a good lead here now. Being chased hard by Zoe Clark, who similarly had a disappointing individual event. The Scots athlete, plenty of support for her. But the Polish team are going clear. Van Gogh-Witten leading, then Britain, then Italy. And a huge lead has been opened up by Van Gogh-Witten. Well, I don't know what was wrong with her in the individual, but she's going well here, all right. Clark will hand over to the youngster, Amber Adia. And for Poland, it's Holub Kovalek, another very experienced competitor running for the defending champions. She ran, of course, on that gold medal winning team before. Rather inexperienced standing, can she hold it on? The youngster from Britain did creditably in her heat running here. They've been second in the British Championship. Being trapped by Amaro. Halfway stage of this leg, and uh, Anning is just in danger of being caught here, I think. So we'll see whether the gap's narrowed. But certainly Poland holding on with Holub Kovalik. Poland it is who are leading. And Sviti Ersetic, who's a formidable relay runner, will take over for Poland. Then it's Great Britain, then Ailey Doyle, another Scot. She'll get plenty of support. She too, plenty of experience. Milani going for Italy on their last leg. They're really spread out at the moment. We'll need something special from somebody to change this order. It's Poland. Britain and Italy. And Sveti Ersetic surely won't lose this. As I say, she's a brilliant relay runner, even better than her individual talent. She was the European champion. 
Daily Doyle has closed the gap. The crowd getting behind her. They love to see a Scott in well, and Doyle is a doughty competitor. But it, surely this is too much. Surely too much. And Sviati Elsicic holding on to about a five, six metre lead. Poland look like they're going to retain the title. And Britain coming along again in second place. And there's a bit of a battle on for third. The French holding on to take that on the line. 3.28.76. Well, only just over a second outside the championship best. But not especially close for our last track race. Well, Poland fulfilled their role as favourites. Peter, quite rightly, did wonder about the form of Baumgart, Witten and Sviti Ursetic, who certainly didn't perform up to expectations in the individual race, but put a baton in their hands and they become different animals altogether. Sviati Ursetic with a very good finish, so might not be the one first out of the blocks. As Sprunger looks very good, has already made up some of the stagger. Also looking good is the Czech Bondrava in lane eight. Sprunger with a very long stride has made up some way on the Italian. Schick Bolu looking good, but Sviatiasic coming strongly on the inside in lane five there. Very good running from the pole indeed. We can already see the crowd around us getting up on her feet and Sviatiasic really not waiting around as she leads this field onto the home straight. Chick Bolu in second coming through, Sprunger with her long stride coming through there, but no doubt about who is winning this race there is. It's Justina Sviatiasic taking the win for Poland, Leo Sprunger in second, and I think Chick Bolu might have held on there for third. 51-24 for Sviatiasic. <laughs> Gets a hug from the mascot. And absolutely delight there for the reigning European champion. I'm sure she will play her part in the relay tomorrow as well. Very popular performer, a woman who's been very much the face of these European team championships. She's on the posters, she's on the publications, she's on the media guides. Well, as you might expect with such a spread of talents, a fairly even start. The Lithuanian out in lane seven, Serskena, is running very well at this stage. So too is the Greek, Bela Kabassi. Nielsen not quite showing at this stage. Bela Kabassi starting to get up on her shoulder. So it is the Lithuanian as they come to the halfway point, come into the second bend. Serskena. Doing well, now it's Bella Kabassi showing to the fore. She's coming round into the home straight. Bella Kabassi really starting to work, but on her inside, Sviti Ursatik now starting to claw back the deficit. The Rurik starting to struggle and it's Sviti Ursatik. Sviti Ursatik just pips her on the line. Bella Kabassi takes second. We'll bring you confirmation of who gets third. Well. Until 350 metres, it's looked as though it was Belly Basaki who was going to take the goal, but a fantastic run down the home straight from Sviti Ursatik gets her the gold in a European leading time and personal best of 50-41. Now this is where Sviti Ursatik really starts to motor while Belly Basaki tires but a remarkable series of personal bests for them. And of course, Beli Basaki has only just moved up from 200 to 400 this year. But uh, the pole is a formidable championship runner. <laughs> Women's 4x400 relay, our last event of this penultimate day of the action. Great Britain certainly going well with Zoe Clark, the Scottish athlete. Probably leading a bit from Hovold Kolek of uh, Poland. Not much to choose between the teams though. Miklos running pretty well from Romania on the inside and making up the gap on Slovakia. But it's still Clark for Britain out in six and a good run by Belongo Bongo of Belgium. 
She ran well in the individual too. She's right on the outside lane. Big staggers, of course, here. And I think it's still Zoe Clark of Britain who probably is prominent. But uh, the Polish athlete, Holo Kovalik, is certainly making much ground on her now. Germany outside her. The Belgians will hand over well as well. So let's see who does indeed hand over in the lead. Marginally Britain, Germany just inside. And then uh, Bel oh, Germany just outside. Then Belgium also on the outside as well. So for the second leg for Britain, on Aurora. Then the Polish athlete. Baumgart and for France it's Sananes. But there's not much to choose between them as they come off the stagger here. A fine run by Müller for Germany. She's a European under-23 silver medalist. Experience on order, on order, just biding her time behind her. But there's really six teams in it, the other two well out of contention. But for France, it's Sananes who will hand over to Rahuara. Onwara coming up, the Polish athlete Baumgart. She'll hand over to Bistnitskiewicz, and that's going to be the lead. Struggling on the inside, the British just hand over in third place, in fact. Wow, this is chopping and changing all the time, but it's uh, Poland who are going all out. Still just those six teams in contention here. And now we've got France coming back to overtake Belgium who are slipping back because now in third place we've got the Italians the Kudo running for them and it's uh, Wyskiewicz from Poland the British some way back at the moment with Olkoff struggling to hold on to that fourth equal place now Wyskiewicz will hand over to the individual 400 meter champion Svieti Ursetic but they're closing up Olkoff narrowing the gap for Britain in fourth place too She's run a good leg, but it's the Polish team who've got a good lead now. Can Gay run something special for France? On this last leg now, Poland it is in the lead. Redoubtable Gay running for France, now in second place, got her in her sights. Just behind her is the Italian's Grenot, and Ailey Doyle, the experienced British runner, coming up for third place. In fifth, it's the Belgians. So, going for glory here. It's a strong run, she looks still commanding. Poles though, trying to fight back with Svieti Ersetic, who's a, a brilliant runner on the last leg, just like Gay is for France, but it's Gay holding off at the moment. Svieti Ersetic has already run the individual race, and here she comes now, but there's a strong finish throughout, but it's Svieti Ersetic who's going to complete a notable double say, but taking Poland to the gold, France gets silver, and Britain get the bronze medal and the time 3.26.60. Well, what a fine run by Sviesi Ertetic because she didn't have long between the individual race and the relay here. No, very little time indeed. So what a fantastic run from Sveti Ersetic, who's been such a stalwart of Polish relay teams over recent years. And she's really coming into her own, of course, after that European leading time in the individual 400 metres. I think even if she had had to chase down Gay and even given her more time, it, it would have been a foregone conclusion.